Hi, welcome to Sonic Solutions. You're here with Ben Peacock, the technical manager. And today I'd like to show you our current title holder for the dirtiest, smelliest job we get through our doors. These are condensers from a plastics recycling company. As part of the plastics recycling process, the material needs to be dry before it can be melted down and extruded. Part of this drying process means that the high temperatures release oils and greases from the plastic into the extraction system. To protect the desiccant that helps with the drying, the company uses these condensers that help re-liquefy the gases and volatiles released in the drying process. We have found that the best method for cleaning these is not just one, it's a multiple process. Stage one is to soak them overnight in an IBC with very hot cleaning chemical to help break down the oils. In the morning we're left with this thick crust. We spend some serious time having to sift it all off the surface. Once we've got rid of the crust, we can take out the condensers. Make sure to remove as much of the trapped material as possible, as they can be quite heavy. I don't think I need to tell you that this is a very smelly process. It's quite evident just by looking at it. The next stage is a jet wash. This removes some of the larger particulates still trapped within and helps flush out from around the internals all the greases and oils. It seems to be a never ending gift. The more you jet wash, the more seems to be released and the more pours out from beneath. There's a network of pipes that go into the condensers. These also get clogged and blocked with oils, and so we jet wash the internals until the water runs clear. The next stage is an ultrasonic tank. We use an aluminium friendly cleaning solution, and this further helps release and break down the oils and small plastic particulate trapped within. After a few hours, the crust starts forming again. But once we're satisfied that the ultrasonics have done as much as they can, we take them out for a further jet washing. The easiest way for us to tell if they're clean enough is that the water we use is clear on the way out as it is on the way in. Using compressed air we dry the condensers and they also go into a drying cabinet at around 50 degrees for up to an hour. We are left with perfectly clean, serviceable condensers, ready to be filled up with greases and oils once again. Thank you for joining me today and if you have a similar issue or would like some more information please do just pick up the phone and get in touch, we're always happy to help.
And if you can think of anything useful to do with this horrible scum that's left behind from this job, also, would love to hear from you. Thanks again. Bye-bye.